Welcome back. Well, it's an advertising campaign like no other. 800 buses in the UK have been fitted with billboards preaching atheism. The slogans have outraged religious groups and many passers-by, but some believe the idea is quite simply divine. Imagine there's no heaven. You don't see this every day. Public transport with a sermon for us all. There's probably no God, now stop worrying and enjoy your life. This atheist bus campaign is the genesis of comedy writer Ariane Shireen. I'd like people to look at the buses and smile. I'd like them to brighten people's days on their way to work uh, and just think, wow, that's unusual, you know. Um, uh, maybe it'll make them think. The ads even have the blessing of the world's most high-profile atheist, Richard Dawkins. I would call it consciousness raising. Uh, just, just think for yourself, that's all. Don't listen to what a priest tells you, don't listen to what a mullah tells you, don't listen to what a rabbi tells you, think for yourself. But priests like Father Stephen Wang are praying they go away. I might put a phrase slightly differently on the side. I might prefer to say, maybe there's a God, dot, dot, dot. How would that change your life if there really was? Love them or hate them, the buses are sparking an almighty debate in the streets. London's a very multicultural sort of place. I don't think you really need to be talking about religion on buses, really. There's a lot of Muslims, a lot of people from all sorts of religions that probably could take offence to it. I know that my grandmother would be upset about it, so I'd rather not see it. And the world And Ariane Shireen joins us now from London. Ariane, good morning to you. What inspired you to do this? Hiya. Well, I saw an ad on a London bus last June, which had a Bible quote on it and a website. And when I visited the website, it told me that all non-Christians were going to burn in hell for all eternity. <laughs> and I thought, hang on a sec, that's a little bit strong for 2008. Uh, this is a very unscientific, unsubstantiated idea which could scare people. So I thought it would be a really nice idea to put a positive counter advert out there, just saying the opposite. Just saying, don't worry, there's no evidence for this. So the Bible itself was the genesis uh, of, a, uh, of an atheism <laughs> campaign, which you hope will lead to an exodus from churches, hopefully. Is that the idea? Uh, no. I mean, it was purely to reassure people who may have been scared by the original ad. It wasn't actually mm -hmm. meant to try and convert people or anything like that. It was just reassuring people who might feel vulnerable. Yeah, great. Ariane, this is a big budget campaign. 800 buses. Who funded this? Public donations from atheists and free thinkers. We only set out to raise five thousand five hundred pounds, and we ended up raising, at the point that I'm speaking to you, one hundred forty-two thousand pounds. Wow. Goodness me! Wow. Which is really phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, didn't That's expect brutal. that at all. And I wouldn't have set out to raise that much money, but uh, we have done, and we've been able to run it throughout the country. We only wanted thirty buses. We've got eight hundred buses around the country. We've got a thousand tube cards. It's all quite. Uh, amazing. It is an extraordinary coverage you've achieved there. A lot of support, obviously, but um, no doubt the backlash is going to be significant as well. Um, <clears throat> what sort of feedback are you getting uh, from the churches um, and how strong has the criticism been from the public? Well, the Methodist Church are all for it. They say that it'll encourage debate, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, most people have been quite understanding about it. They understand that it's a counter-response to these evangelical adverts. Mm -hmm. And they think it's a very gentle and philosophical advert. I'd say that 95% of the responses I've got by email have been very positive. Yes, well, it is a very gentle commercial. The insertion of that word probably mm. is really so wonderful. It's, it's um, <clears throat> you know, it's calm. It's tempered, but it's really thought-provoking, isn't it? Well, thanks a lot. Um, that's what I was hoping. I mean, we can't say with all certainty that there is no God. Atheists wouldn't say that. Uh, but I think that it will reassure people who think, oh dear, you know, maybe something really bad is going to happen to me after the end of my life if I don't believe. And atheists just want to reassure people that, no, we don't think that's going to happen. There's no scientific evidence for that. And hopefully it will encourage people to think more about what they believe and why. And it's wonderful to know there are so many free thinkers out there. It's really pleasing in my mind. Um, Australian atheists have tried unsuccessfully to do the same thing here, Ariane. Did you have any trouble getting this approved by your advertising board over there? 
Uh, we didn't. I mean, I was so surprised because this all started in an article that I wrote for The Guardian uh, new newspaper website, uh, The Guardian's newspaper we have in the UK. And I just suggested the idea at the end as a positive solution. And people started saying, great, let's do it. How do we give you the money? And I thought, well, I don't know because I haven't researched this. I mean, can we actually do this? And people have been very, very, uh, it's been very smooth the whole way through. The advertising company didn't have a problem with it. But sadly, the Australian, the Atheist Federation, no, I'm going to get that wrong. <laughs> the Atheist Foundation in Australia have uh, really found it much more difficult. David Nichols, its president, was telling me that their slogan, um, your slogan was so cool, it was just atheism, sleep in on Sunday mornings. And presumably you don't want people to sleep in on Sunday mornings being sunrise. But yeah. um, <laughs> it was you, such sir. a kind of warm <laughs> slogan. <laughs> and uh, I'm... Uh, you know, I'm quite stunned that in a secular country which is very liberal, such as Australia, um, where you do have this you know, wonderful freedom of speech, as, as we do here, that it wasn't allowed. But I think that's more your transport authority or yes. advertising agency there being I think it was the biggest advertising the agency in Australia that put the kibosh on it. Um, so it was, it was nothing official, wow. but it was just difficult to get it approved by the agencies themselves. And look, Ariane, you know, in, inadvertently, we are supporting the cause, obviously, since the weekend sunrise oh. started on a Sunday morning. You know, church numbers around the country have been <laughs> bleeding. They're, they're down 60 or 70 people in Priests some cities. Priests all over the country uh. are after Andrew. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that's wonderful. That <laughs> uh, anyway, Ariane, Shereen, thank you very much for joining us on a very interesting campaign. Cheers. Lovely to talk to you. Bye-bye.